Aftershock in Sacramento, California, October 6th through the 9th, featuring Slipknot, Kiss, My Chemical Romance, and Muse. Plus more than 70 amazing bands. Get your tickets now before they're gone and learn everything there is to know about Aftershock at the link in the description. There was a time when former Red Hot Chili Peppers guitarist Josh Klinghoffer and John Frusciante were good friends. Their friendship actually goes back years, and they've even released multiple collaborative projects together. Klinghoffer explained during Tuna on Toast with Stryker podcast, saying, quote, I spent a lot of time being friends with John when we were younger. He's a very dedicated artist and musician, and we spent a lot of time together, and we made records together. Now, some two years before Frushanti left the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Klinghoffer was actually asked to join the band as a touring member where he would play backing guitars as well as keyboards and some backup vocals. It was at this time when a rift developed between the musicians because Klinghoffer says Frushanti knew that if he left Red Hot Chili Peppers, Klinghoffer would be the one who would replace him. He said, quote, he knew. There was talk about it before I joined, because Flea had asked me. There was a lot of discussion about it in the summer of 2009. But because of people traveling and just being on sort of summer holiday, we actually didn't make sounds together until October. So from July to October, I was in contact with John, and he was in contact with them, and he was having a hard time with the fact that they could even consider going on without him. Klinghoffer added that it was a kept secret from him that Frushanti was going to return to the band in 2019. He said, there was a bit of, it's not like it was a monogamous relationship. Flea and John had been hanging out and playing and stuff. They were fostering that relationship again. And I didn't know that. It was sort of secret. He added though, I couldn't be more grateful for them for all the experience I've had with them. My only regret is not making more music with them. Of course, earlier this year, Red Hot Chili Peppers released a brand new album, their first with Frushanti since he returned to the band. It's called Unlimited Love, and it's out now. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.